Ice Locked here with Nocturne Gaming, back with more Legends of Eidolon, and we're taking a look at the Acorn Assault Totem today. Acorn Assault is the level 30 totem used in worship and is located in the World 1 map, the Roots, right here. And this totem provides rooted souls upon spending your worship charge or completing the tower defense waves. I have a much more detailed guide on worship and on how to improve your stats and increase your efficiency linked in the description below. For this guide, I am using my hunter and the talents that we need to spec into are first, stop right there, which immobilizes monsters within a radius around you. The higher the level of the talent, the longer this roots for. Next is the 360 no scope, which allows you to hit multiple mobs. On tab two, Kung Fu Kick, allows a pushback to mobs and again the higher the level the farther this pushes back and also don't forget your piercing arrow as this can also hit multiple enemies for your talents be sure to keep in mind that your damage is capped at one damage per attack so you don't need to spec into all of the things that give you damage so i am going to show you one of the builds that i've used currently yet i've gotten to wave 53 i think we can push a little farther um, but keep in mind that this is only one of the builds and there are more ways to place your towers to clear these waves. But let's get started. So to start the waves, you need to click on the totem and then you click summon and we start summoning our towers here. So let's go up here and we're going to start with a boulder roller that is right beside that rope there. One more boulder roller and then a freeze tower. So from here, you want to start summoning lightning totems beneath it. And we do need to get some more points. So let's push through a couple waves. Okay, so we have our basic setup here, and now we're going to be focusing on getting these towers leveled up and also placing party towers. So the start would be a party tower here. And as we get more party towers, we're going to level these up individually as we go. Uh, so we wanna get this to level five as quick as possible and then place down the next party tower. So. Uh, make sure you're only placing one party tower at a time as they do nothing until you get it to level five. So when we get to level five, we want to make sure we're selecting the 25% speed here. And that's going to allow our boulder towers and everything else to attack just a little bit faster, which helps us clear these waves uh, easier. And we can usually start summoning more towers quicker this way. Okay, so we have our towers set up now. There is one last thing that you do do later in the game, which is adding two party towers down at the bottom here, um, but that takes a higher wave count. We need to start upgrading our damage. So we're gonna start upgrading our towers here. So our priority is going to be our boulder roller towers here. And we're gonna upgrade these to level five. And generally you wanna select can hit two more enemies. You can, on the secondary tower, choose to upgrade boulders travel 30% further first, but this really depends on if you can support hitting enough enemies. So you need to have enough party attack speed to make that work. But for now, we're gonna select this. For your frozen Malone towers, we're going to upgrade, and we're always gonna select trait B on the frozen towers. So we want to select trait B here. And then from here, we can start upgrading our storm collar towers. And these, we want to gain the extra crit chance 
uh, on two of them, and on the other two, we want to start getting the damage to 50% monsters below 60% HP. So we're going to start with the crit chance. This helps all of our towers gain a little bit of crit. And then you want to do the opposite. So eventually you'll have crit on all four towers, which lets us do a lot of damage. So we now have all of our towers at level five, except for the Kraken Tower as it's expensive and not generally worth it early game. So we're gonna start pushing to the next level, which is going to be upgrading your Boulder Towers again. And we're gonna speed up here and meet back once we see how far we can get. So it looks like we're kind of stuck at this point. Uh, this is a lack of damage with my towers as I haven't upgraded far enough into my construction workbench. This is using towers with my boulder rollers at about level 30, for example. And uh, But as a last note, these later waves can be overwhelming. And make sure you keep upgrading your towers in the tower defense as if you forget to, you're going to die a lot sooner. And in particular, your boulder rollers and your storm collars here. Uh, make sure you're upgrading those party collars in increments of five as they don't do anything without that attack speed buff that they get for every five levels. And also make sure you're using your roots and your knockbacks effectively to keep those orange mobs that explode off your towers as they do stun and prevent them from doing anything. This can slow down your attack speed and can just flat out prevent you from doing any damage. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying this type of content. And a huge shout out to our Patreon members that support the work we do. Thank you from all of us here at Nocturne Gaming. If you would like to become a patron and get some added benefits, check out the link in the description. If you have any thoughts, comments, or questions, please leave them down below for me, and we'll see you next time.